What is going on guys? We are back playing some more surviving with immersive engineering and today guys we are going to be finishing up the diesel generator setup that we started last episode and it could not come a minute too soon because I had to do a ton of mining off camera to get ready for today's episode. You can see I've kind of really dug into this unbreaking three pick right here. And uh, again, it was manual mining, which in modded Minecraft, I'm really frowning upon. So I'm excited to finish this up because that will give us the power that we need to start powering the excavator, which we will then be making after this, that will start doing the mining for me. And you cannot understand how excited I am for that. But before we jump into today's episode, I do want to go over a few things. First off, if you have watched this episode or you're going to watch it, but you have not seen the last episode where we set up the garden cloche, started getting all the stuff flowing into the fermenter and squeezer to make the ethanol and plant oil, I would suggest you go and watch that unless you are extremely well versed in the ways of biodiesel uh, generation and uh, diesel generators and all that stuff, in which case you probably don't need to watch this episode either unless you want to hear my soothing voice. But uh, yeah, so we started setting it up last episode, got pretty much the beginning half of it down, and now in today's episode we are going to be setting up the other half right over here, and that is going to be the refinery which is going to combine the plant oil and ethanol into the biodiesel, and then we're just going to pump that stuff right over into the diesel generator and start getting some nice power. We are also going to start using high voltage cables today because you can do some wonky setups with the diesel generator, and I really don't want to confuse you guys by going into too much detail on it, but essentially the diesel generator has the option for three different connectors to be hooked up to it. Connectors can pull out a certain amount of flux per tick, but the wires can carry like four times as much as the connectors can pull out. And so you can have multiple different connectors that end up combining into one wire and you can actually transport, you know, way more than the connector itself can pull out. But I really don't feel like doing that. And so the only way to effectively transport all of the power out of the diesel generator, you know, thus the 4096 flux per tick we're going to be getting when it's running consistently is using high voltage connectors, high voltage wires and high voltage relays, which get a little bit expensive to make. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Now, I have been running these bad boys over here pretty consistently, and we are getting a little bit more steel, but the only annoying thing is I do not have a surplus of coke right now, so I do have to keep transferring it back and forth. And uh, you can see that I have a bunch of the ores that I have not actually uh, ground down yet, and that is because we have essentially no power in this right now, and that is because all the power is being sucked up by this setup over here. So the idea is once we set us up today, we're going to start transferring power over to this from the other side, and we're going to leave the power over here for now just to run things like the crusher. Um, so that was another issue that I ran into, so this actually has not been ground down yet. Um, but yeah, did a fair bit of mining, worked through a lot of my pick, stuff like that. But I also did all the crafting for today's episode because we do have a bunch of machines to set up. But to kind of briefly go over it, I discussed that we're going to be using the high voltage wire relays, the high voltage wire connectors, the high voltage wire coils, obviously to wire the stuff. Now, high voltage, you can't actually insulate, so we just got to be careful around that. You can insulate medium voltage and low voltage, but as far as I'm aware, you can't insulate high voltage. We also have a high voltage capacitor, which will be nice to have just because we're going to be generating a ton of power and we want to actually be able to put that somewhere. And then we've got all the miscellaneous stuff that we're going to need to set the machines up today, including radiator blocks, generator blocks, steel scaffolding, light engineering blocks, and then the kind of the big part of it, which is the heavy engineering blocks. That's where a lot of the steel goes, some iron sheet metal, some fluid pipes. And we do have a little bit of excess here because we are going to be pumping the fluid itself from these machines. And I actually don't think we even have enough right here. We're probably going to have to make some more, but that's not an issue. And then we have redstone engineering blocks, one for each. So we're going to grab all of this stuff out. And I don't think we really need anything else from in here. No conveyors or anything um, today. I am really worried, though, that we are going to need uh, the an excess of fluid pipes. So what we're going to do is run down here. And we're working with limited space. And the main reason that I want to consider where we're putting things is because we do need to hook this stuff up to power. And if we're trying to use the high voltage cables, we're going to want that to be somewhere we're not walking. So what I'm thinking is we're going to have a little bit of an open space down here, and then we're going to put the diesel generator over here. It's going to be a uh, three by five. So we'll put it in this corner or I'll put it one away from the corner and over here. Unfortunately, we'll have two open on this side and one on that side. Minecraft OCD, not going to have much fun there, but there's nothing we can really do about it. And then the refinery is probably going to go. If we go one, two, three, we can leave one block open and then go one, two, three, and it will not be under this little walkway right here, which is perfect. 
Um, at least the part that's going to get the power needs to not be around there, but I don't really want to reverse it because we want the output to be on the side with the diesel generator. So yeah, it's a whole thing, but uh, we should jump right into it then. I know I said that a while ago um, and we've been rambling or I've been rambling. You guys have been listening though, so you're kind of enabling me. So, um, but we'll go first to heavy machinery. That's where the refinery is. And you can see right here, if we actually go and look at the image itself, we've got the inputs on each side and you're gonna be putting in two different types of fluid. Combining it, you got the power input right there, just like the fermenter and the squeezer. And then we are going to have the output on this side. So the idea is we want it to be facing essentially like this, uh, if we're you know having it face at us, because we want the out to, output to be coming at us right here so that we don't have to use you know an additional, probably about five or six pipes to get it over to the side that we want to put it in the diesel generator. So. We can start setting this up now. Um, I know I said I was going to make the projector to make, you know, building these easier, but I lied because I'm lazy. So we're going to do scaffolding and then heavy and light. So we get the fluid pipes. We'll get out the steel scaffolding, light engineering blocks and heavy engineering blocks. So we want to make it not in the center. I guess we want to leave more room over here. This is going to bother me, the fact that we're doing it like this, but unfortunately, I don't think we have any better option. So we'll do like that, right? And then like that. And then we run this through the center. And then we get the light engineering block in the back and the heavy engineering block in the front. And then we got another heavy, another light, heavy, light. We got the redstone engineering block over here. And we got all this iron sheet metal that's going to be making the two tanks on the top, which I assume is going to be, yep, two by two by two back here and right there. Okay, and then I think we probably are going to click on, I actually don't know which one we're going to click on. Um, let us see, to form a structure, right click on the heavy engineering block in the middle layer. There we go. Okay, so it is made. We got the output right here, which is perfect. That's how we want it. And now we're just gonna have to run the fluid pipes in the side and we definitely do not have enough. So yeah, we're gonna have to make some more of these, but we can do some stuff with what we've got for the time being. I really don't like that they connect here, but I feel like we've been able to remove that before. Have we? Oh, can we actually not remove that? Oh, well, it's filling up with ethanol. Um, but we don't even have enough to get this in there. So yeah, so we'll have to go and make some more of that because we're going to need more, um, for at least connecting it to the diesel generator. And I think the diesel generator itself needs some too. So we have to make the fluid pipes. That's going to take a bunch of iron plates. So we'll just grab out, you know what? I'll just make half a stack of iron plates. I should do this anyway. What do we have in here? Do we have the plates in here? Yeah, we do. Okay, so we'll throw that in there. Oh, is this gonna have any power to actually run? Oh, okay, it does. Thank goodness. Because this, again, has essentially no power in it. Um, now, I think some of that was because these were, uh, well, I guess they haven't filled up at all yet. And we're also gonna have to deal with the issue of items collecting here. Um, we need to essentially get this running consistently because we have too many items and that's gonna start to lag us out. So that's another fun issue that we're dealing with that I thought I'd let you guys know about. Um, because I don't want you to run into that in your world, because especially if you're on a server that can start to make some serious issues. People are not going to like you if you have a ton of items constantly refreshing. So they're not going to despawn for a while. Um, but yeah, just a heads up. Also, if you guys could let me know if there's a way to not make these connect, I feel like there's something that you can do it with, but I just don't remember because I don't really like the way that looks. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've got a fair bit of ethanol, fair bit of plant oil, and we're really just going to need to supply it with power and we should be good. Obviously we don't really have any power to give it though yet. Um, eventually we'll have to figure out a way to get some power over here just for the time being, um, like connect some low voltage stuff to make some so that we can actually get it in the diesel generator and start the process. Uh, but yeah, now we're going to want to set up the diesel generator itself. So we can get this connected. The funny thing is it's not in any of the heavy machinery. It's in the generator section. And this is pretty much the most expensive thing you'll find in here. Um, but we want to set it up so that the input is going to be uh, on the left side here. So this is how we want it to look. And so we're going to make the far side fully out of, I believe those are, 
Is that, are those the radiator blocks? I don't actually know. Which ones are those? Yeah, the radiator blocks. So if it's five, and we want it to start over here, one, two, three, four, five. So this one should be like so. And then we'll go from there. I know that really doesn't do much for us in sort of expediting the process of setting it up. I just did that wrong, didn't I? It's supposed to be like this, isn't it? Let's see if I remember that correctly. It is, and then you have the fluid pipes here and here. And now we actually have to follow the rules. Okay, so we got three fluid pipes in the back and we don't even have enough for that, but we'll set up the steel scaffolding and then we'll go and make the rest of the fluid pipes because it does sound like the machine up there is done. Either that or it is out of power. Okay, so we got a fair bit of plates now to work with. I'm gonna grab out enough to make two sets. That should be more than enough for us. I'll leave the rest in there for you know the future when I realize I need more. Uh, and we'll grab these out. Should be enough to finish this, connect it all up and get things going. I'm really just worried today because obviously making this is the easy part. I am worried today about hooking up all the power and figuring out how I want that to all work. So yeah, stand by on that one. Uh, and then all heavy engineering blocks and the redstone on the front middle, like so. And then I assume it's just gonna be heavy engineering blocks on the top. Yes, it is. And then I assume we click on, no? Okay, I don't know what we click on. It took some guesses. Uh, right click the central generator with an engineering hammer. That's a radiator. There we go. So bad for the environment. Yeah, I know, rough one. Okay, so looks very cool. I, if I recall correctly, this thing's super, super loud. Uh, and if we actually were to be able to give power to this, is there, yeah, there's no internal, I guess there's no, uh, UI to see when you click on it. So now it really comes down to getting power over here and that'll start the whole process. And then we can make it into sort of a self self powering system. So we need potentially the relay, definitely the connector and definitely some, uh, low voltage coils. And we're going to come over here and see what we can do. Now, obviously, it is not going to stay like this, uh, but we'll put one right there. We'll connect these and then we'll hop down there, get it hooked up, get enough power in there to make a little bit. It's, it's going to take a while uh, even to get enough power to this, probably to get it to run once. Just because when I say we have no power up there, I really mean we have like no power. OK, so it's going. slowly oh it's, it's gonna put it right in here okay so i guess we should start setting it up right yeah why would it fill up its own internal buffer it's gonna go right in here so what we need to do is start hooking up the high voltage stuff so we're gonna put the high voltage wire connector can we not do high voltage why do you need to oh you need to shift click that is so weird so you can't actually click on this thing, but you need to right click on it or shift right. That's so weird. Okay, so we're gonna mosey on up here and I'm trying to figure out where we want the high voltage capacitor to go. I think probably right in the ceiling center over here uh, and we can kind of fiddle with that later, but uh, I wouldn't mind putting it like right there and then we'll have to get out our hammer. And I think, we want it to be inputting there. Uh, we can just do outputting there. And of course, I shock myself. Uh, do that. And start hooking this stuff up. Okay, that one hurts so much more. Okay, where's some food? Yep, that's really loud though. Um, but yeah, that's a reason. Let's make sure we're not going to accidentally hit that from up here because that, well, we can't even check right now because that'll kill us. Um, we definitely can hit that. So we're going to eventually put a, well, do we actually want to do it right now? Probably. We're going to want to put a connector or a relay and then connect the two connectors through that because if we put it up here, then at least uh, it's not going to, be as bad with uh with shocking us and then we need to use wire cutters right yeah 
So it needs somewhere to put the energy and then it can start running. But I think it does, so I think it does have an internal buffer. I don't know how big it is, but it's only for the, actually it might not for the fluid. It might just be these pipes here, hard to say. Um, but this is slowly trying to generate some, but if we can get it this newfound power, it'll be able to go a lot faster. Okay guys, so sorry about that, but we are back. Now we are good to actually start connecting all the power together to the rest of the system. And we're gonna try our best to not get shocked, but we need to stay as full as we can right now, essentially, because it will take two shocks to kill us um, from the high voltage cable. So just something to be cautious about, but we have the high voltage connector there. And essentially we just need to uh, break the connector down here for this and uh, break this one too and then connect it. So I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Um, because I also want to connect over there to this. So this is gonna be really messy. So what we're gonna do is we'll put one in the middle here like we had, and then we'll put one this is going to look so bad, but we're going to want one to be essentially right there. And, you know, maybe we move this one a little further up because we can. And we run that there, run that there, run this to the one down here. This is going to start running again. Going to make enough for that to start running again. This is going to suck all the power from this so that this can actually run because that's... Again, we need to prevent getting shocked. Um, but yeah, so that's all running now. Now the big thing is I want to eventually get the uh, high voltage power over here. So I do need to make more connectors, but I'm curious if I want to hook that up yet or not. Um, I don't think I want to just yet. Uh, the system should be fine now. But... Uh, yeah, I need to figure out a better way to do it with the power running up here because this does not look pretty at all. So once I figure that out, I might move the uh, capacitor further back over there, uh, stuff like that, and we died. Okay, well, clearly I do need to be way more careful about where all my wiring goes. We just lost some nice levels. How is that shocking me? It's like dipping down where I personally don't think it should be. But you know what? Okay, I think that's where we're going to call it for the episode today. Considering everything is running, so you've got, you guys have all gotten to see it run now, and you've gotten to see me shame myself and die, which is very unfortunate. Um, okay, so we actually ran out. We were able to burn through all of it. Let's throw our armor back on, and we're missing our boots. I'm trying to hunt around and find them without actually getting myself shocked again and killed again. So yeah, I guess we got really lucky with not getting shocked initially. And, uh, oh God, this is like nerve wracking trying to, where did they go? I don't really know where they would have flown. Did they go over here? No, maybe they're up top. Um, but yeah, uh, okay. We gotta, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, well, I guess the boots are just a lost cause. We'll just, we'll make diamond ones soon enough. So, you know, uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. We got everything running. I died. Pretty eventful episode. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can feel free to post them in the comments. I know this stuff can get kind of wonky. Um, but what I will say is that was a perfect public service announcement to be very careful around the high voltage wires. They are not insulated. There's a reason that it's, you know, good to be more careful about their placement. They hurt a lot more than other ones. Um, so yeah, just be careful with that. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you later.